Hello, we're at the Metropolitan Division's brand new facility. Join Chief Charlie Beck for a conversation regarding the Chief's message for the month of November 2016. Hi boss, how are you? Jack, how are you doing? Very good, thanks. You know what sir, Metro, as we call it within the uh, department, is a great resource for you and uh, what do you do as far as uh, applying those resources throughout the city? Well, you know, Jack, one of the very important things about Metropolitan Division is their flexibility. You know, obviously, uh, I can move Metro at a, at a moment's notice. I can change their hours and do at a moment's notice. They address crime problems. They address them in a way that would be very difficult for uh, more traditional resources to do. You know, Metropolitan Division has been a key part of reducing violent crime over this summer. And it, over the summer alone, they took over 500 guns off the streets of Los Angeles. Made a, made a big difference. And, and I got to tell them that, uh, that I appreciate what Metro does. You know, I know how hard it can be. Mm. I know that there's a, a big demand on your time and on your families and on your personal time. But, uh, you know, you provide a resource that would be very difficult to replicate in a more traditional policing sense. Well, sir, we have two of Metro's finest with us here yeah, today. Yeah. And you know what, sir? I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Go Hi, ahead, sir. My sir. name is Bobby. Amazing. Bobby, nice to my meet you. pleasure. My pleasure. Christina, Christina Tudor. how are you doing? How are you doing, Chief? How about it, uh, Mesa? Do you have a uh, question for the Chief? Yes, sir. What is the feedback from uh, the community, political, and business leaders regarding Metro's mission in 2016? Well, I think one of the really important things that I've asked Metro to do, and, and something I think that, uh, that, that Metro has been doing and, and we need to continue to expand on, is to become connected to the community. Particularly, you know, one of the reasons we, we have the four platoons is so you can all be responsible for a piece of geography, one of the city's bureaus, you know, and then, and then to use that responsibility to build relationships. So, you know, the more we do that, the more positive feedback you're gonna get and the better you're gonna represent the Los Angeles Police Department, you know. You know, this is an era of policing that is very, very much about relationships. You know, you, you, we have to build community trust. You know, there, we are far too small with far too big a mission to think we can do it without the willing cooperation of the vast majority of folks. And we build that cooperation through contact, you know, and through, through building relationships, whether it's at the school level or at the business level or, or even in, uh, in general community meetings, you know. And so I look to Metropolitan Division to, to do that. Uh, I've gotten great feedback uh, so far, but I, I, but I need uh, Metro to embrace that as part, uh, just as important as you uh, embrace your crime fighting mission, you got to embrace your trust building mission because they're both the same thing. You know, you build trust, you reduce crime. You make neighborhoods healthy, you reduce crime. All these things are, are very important to the role of modern policing. How about you, Officer Tudor? Yes, Chief. What is your long-term vision for Metropolitan Division? Well, I, I think my goal for Metropolitan Division, I know my goal, especially since we've expanded it, is to make you much more territorial. In other words, you know, one of the, maybe the, the, the old way of thinking about Metropolitan Division is, you know, you just spent your time in, in the most violent of neighborhoods, you know, trying to address violent crime. But what I, what I want to do is to get us to the point where, where you spend more time in the bureaus and the neighborhoods that you're assigned to. So you build those strong relationships. And, and you know, as, as, any, as any good cop knows, you know, the better relationships you have, the more you know your community, the better you can do your job. So, so I think that that is a really important. And then, then I want to make sure that we're using a significant resource from the department uh, in, a, in a way that makes a difference. You know, and I think that by expanding your role to be uh, more community-centric, uh, I think we'll do that. You know, but, but then I also got to have you as, as the flexible resource that can address that emergency response that is so critical in a city this size. Bobby? How about expansion or subtraction of personnel, sir? Are we going to be uh, gaining or, or losing any bodies in the near future? Well, I have no intention on, on uh, reducing the size of Metropolitan Division. I think it would be difficult to increase right now uh, until we start to increase the size of the general department. Uh, you know, so I think that it's not so much that Metropolitan Division is the perfect size, it's just the right size for now. Christina? Yes, Chief. Uh, Metropolitan's uh, armored vehicles are fairly old. Do you believe the uh, city will prioritize uh, replacing them? You know, we're going to try to replace them, Christina. You know, it's uh, uh, one of the things that we're, we're struggling with right now is, is uh, being able to use asset forfeiture and then also uh, the, the uh, government donation program 
to, to replace some of these vehicles. Uh, so uh, we're working through that as kind of a political hoop we got to jump through. Mm -hmm. But it's my goal that, uh, that we do that. You know, it's important that you have good equipment, just like it's important that the rest of the police department has good equipment. You know, you're, it, it, uh, it not only keeps you safe, uh, but it allows you to do your mission uh, in a much better way. Don't you have to like walk a fine line because of the militarization that right, everyone right, talks about? Right, big narrative on militarization, of course. You know, but we're very strict about how you can use them. We don't use them for crowd control. We don't mm -hmm. use them for general operations. You know, it's we use them when they're the right tool for the time. Mm -hmm. And as long as we do that, then I have absolute faith that we'll be able to to procure them. Bobby, uh, how about training, sir? Are we going to be able to expand training in 2017? Training is really important to Metro, but of course it's not the only mission. And it's always a fine balance. You know, I want you to be well trained, but I want you to be out on the street too. So, you know, we'll, we're going to, we'll look at training, we'll try to make it, uh, you know, more general for the whole department. You know, I, I, I think that we, that we need to do a better job of training everybody because of the significant demands on, on the way that, you know, the way that we look at what you do every day. So, you know, I think it's important overall. You know, Metropolitan Division, that'll always be a core piece of what you do. You know what, boss? We, we have a, a, not only a runner, we have an officer who, uh, well, uh, Officer Tudor, what, what, are you coming, what do you got coming up? Well, in the end of November, I'll be running from L.A. to Sacramento with another officer, Officer Joe Cerrito from Olympic. Uh, we'll be running from Legion Park to the state capital um, in Sacramento, approximately 420 miles. Um, we'll be raising money for uh, the Los Angeles Police Memorial Foundation. Um, and that kicks off November 27th. Of course, Christina has been a great representative for the department, you know, and, and her efforts at the LA Marathon running in full gear, you know, a number of the other things that she's done. You know, she originally asked me, could she run to Washington, D.C.? <laughs> yeah, that was her original request. <laughs> seriously? So, so in, yeah, oh, yeah, seriously, oh, no. seriously, seriously. So I, no, no, I said, no. well, Christina, could, could we negotiate this down to like, yeah. like maybe the state capital? Keep, keep it in the, <laughs> keep it in the state a little bit. So, yeah. so yeah. you know, wow. just so anybody that's thinking that maybe, you know, that this is a little extreme, but just think what I, she would have done if I would have let her. <laughs> anyway, Christina, thank you. And thank you for all Metropolitan Division. You know, you guys represent the department so well in so many ways, you know, and I know uh, I put a lot of demands on you, a lot of expectations, and uh, and you guys meet that meet the challenge every time. I appreciate thank it. You. Yes, sir. Thanks, Chief. All right, Chef. Thank you, sir. Bye, -bye. Chief, Christina. thank you. All right, I need all of you to be safe out there. Build community, keep the city safe.